What's happening guys? Thanks for stopping back by the channel today. So have you guys ever thought about installing a dash cam in your vehicle? Now whether you guys think it is something that's necessary or not, it's something that I've been thinking about for a long time in putting into the truck. You know this is one of my biggest investments that I absolutely have. I love this thing and I want to be able to add that extra line of protection and I think I'm going to be able to do that with a new dash cam that I ended up getting from a company called Rexing. We're going to be putting this one in today. It's their V1P Pro uh, version of a dash cam, uh, both the front and rear 1080p. And we're going to get this installed into the Duramax today and check out and see how good this is going to work for us. All right, bear with me here, guys. We're gonna get this thing installed. I know it's kind of fading light here, but this really isn't gonna be that hard of an installation. They do make these super simple for you guys to install, and in the truck, it's just gonna be that much easier to be able to put in. Like I said earlier, this one has the front facing camera with a two inch screen to it, as well as the rear facing camera. Both are 1080p, both recording in high definition. So let's look at everything that comes in the box. Got a whole big old thing of destructions here. I'm sure we'll be able to figure out what's going on with this. We've got so little bits of hardware. We've got cables. This is gonna be the cable that runs between the front camera and the rear one because the front one is the main unit. It's gonna power the rear one. We have our main unit front camera right here. This thing is a killer. It's actually pretty hefty. This thing is really well built. I would definitely have to say that one. Uh, the mounting pad is gonna be right here. This is where we're gonna have attachments here for our mounting pads. We're gonna be able to mount those to the front uh, windshield uh, just below the rear view mirror, having that face forward. The camera is able to move to the different directions wherever you guys need to put them, as well as it has like a, a right around a two inch screen right here for you does have the hookups here. This is where we're gonna have our power and this one is gonna pull power from a cigarette lighter. And this is where we're able to put in our mini SD card for loop uh, continuous storage of the uh, recordings and events. Here is the power source. Uh, this one just plugs into a cigarette lighter and then has the other cord end that plugs into our dash cam. Set that one off to the side here. The one thing that I don't really like about this kit, which could be improved, is giving you the option of having this hook into a power source uh, within the dash of the truck and not having this out and about inside of the passenger compartment where somebody could just, you know, kind of pull it out or it could come unplugged from your cigarette lighter. Don't really like that one, but you know, there it is. It comes with with its own trim tool. That's pretty neat for installation purposes. What else do we got in here? Plastic bag. This is the rear camera. Comes with the 3M tape already onto the mounting surfaces. It's got an adjustable camera so you can mount it to whatever surface you can see. We're gonna mount this one flush onto the back glass of the old Dirty Max back there. Should be facing out right between my forehead. And then this one's gonna be facing the rear of the vehicle, being able to cover all 360 degrees around the truck while I'm driving it. There's that one. And then also a couple of different mounting surfaces, mounting pads, and then another little adapter cable for uh, downloading and updating things here on it. Another little warranty and downloading instructions. That's for the GPS player. Yeah and here's another mounting pad for on the windshield pretty cool so we're gonna get all of this stuff put on the front camera the rear camera get it wired all in between and i really don't think we're gonna have to even get any tools out other than you know maybe pop the one panel off on the bottom side of the dash to be able to fit our power cord in nice neat and flush 
First thing we're gonna do is make sure we put our 3M sticky tabs onto the mounting plate for the front one, and then we already have the one mounted for our rear facing camera. So we gotta find a place to be able to put this one. We're gonna measure the front one because the adapter plate on this has about, you know, half to three quarters of an inch here on the top side of it. So we're gonna measure down about three quarters of an inch from our rear view mirror mounting plate and to be able to mount that one. We'll stick that one to the windshield. Of course, you need to clean off the windshield first and then put your sticky tab up there to where this can lock into place. Have you ever fell? Are you listening? All right, so now we've got both our front camera and rear camera mounted, super easy. Peel the sticky stuff, stick them into the place you want it. And now we're gonna be taking our long cable that goes between the two, and we're gonna be routing them from the rear camera up the pillar here, in through just right at the edge of the seal, right along there, across the B pillar, down the A pillar, or across the A pillar, and then up to our front camera, which is mounted right up there in the middle drop it down to there, yeah, it shouldn't be that much. Okay, so now we've got the cable all ran from the rear to the front. Uh, one of the biggest things that I would say, make sure to keep in mind is in your vehicle application, like this one, a truck, it's not as long, I don't have to go that much of a distance. So there's gonna be an extra four feet or so of cable. So what I did, I ran the end all the way to the back, ran up to the A pillar here, and then put the other end into the actual unit. Now the four feet of extra, I loomed up here in the middle and I actually tucked into the headliner right up here because there's not really anything up into that space. I guess you could run it down the A pillar and tuck it down in here, but I've got a whole lot more going on down in the dash area. So we don't really want to put it there. Coiled up all nice and neat, put them up there above that point. Now what we got to do, we got to run our power source. So what we're going to do on that one, we're going to plug it into the unit first and run the cable up over down the A pillar maybe tuck it in through the dash some way or somehow and then be able to plug it into our cigarette lighter which is about somewhere in there right around there try to tuck everything up into that point shouldn't be that hard for you guys either All right guys, well, kind of fast forwarding to the next day because my dumb butt forgot to get an SD card for this. And I wanted to be able to get that and be able to use it a little bit here and there to be able to show you guys the actual capabilities that it is using and I'm not just reading off the instruction manual. So let's have a look now that we've got some better light also to see how we've got this thing put in and go through some of the features. All right, so inside of the vehicle, we've got the rear camera mounted right back there. The wire goes into the ceiling up here across the C p pillar and then it'll go right up along in here pulled that seal out and kind of tucked it into the roof line come out down and then the wire goes across the roof panel and then down to the actual head unit device it goes down to that in there and then as well the power wire which plugs into the other side comes up over down the A pillar into the dash area behind here and then it i've got it popped out here right here so i can just manually plug and unplug it to the cigarette lighter now here in the future i might throw a switch and get a cigarette lighter uh, adapter to be able to plug that into and then just run a switch instead of just having to plug and unplug it but that's kind of kind of you know work for now on that one i think it was kind of silly that they didn't run it or give you kind of an adapter to be able to run it to where it was just ignition uh, either that or i'll change up the cigarette lighter to only work with the ignition on so now we'll get into the actual camera all right so we've got everything keyed on we're going to plug the actual unit in here it does have a little led to light up to know you to tell you when the unit is actually on and then we can see the unit powering up right there it goes through its own little power up and then it shows you the screen of the actual uh, forward camera and the reverse camera in the corner. We'll see if we can get it. Sorry about the background. 
right about there. Now, as you can see, you can adjust all the settings here for the main part of your screen. This does have GPS built in, so it does have the ability to show your miles per hour right there. It shows the date, the time stamp at which the recording is on, as well as the power unit and the SD card there. So this thing, I've got it set. You can also have it set to um, kind of go into whatever kind of recording that you want to. So I've got this thing recording in 1080p, just because I do have a 128 gig card. I really do how like, like how it is nice and, you know, right there kind of behind my mirror. So when I'm sitting here driving, I'm gonna sit right here. It's not really in my line of sight. You know, it's kind of tucked out of the way nicely right there. Not like I have enough screens anyways. That one there, that one there, my phone's there, radio's there. I've got enough screens reading out here. That's, that's definitely for sure. Also, I wanted to point out that the camera is adjustable on the front of this as well on the uh, rear camera as well. You're able to adjust that one up and down. This one, you're able to kind of turn it all around until you get it to the focal point that you want it to. One of the other cool features that I really liked is the fact that I don't have to take the SD card out of there. This thing is Wi-Fi capable, so I can connect my phone with an app to it that is on the actual um, directions. You can download the app to it and then you can download the different stored uh, recordings from that to your phone without having to remove the SD card plug it into your computer and all that kind of jazz how it records is the loop function it will actually continuously record the whole time it's got power to it it will continuously record now when the memory starts to run out the oldest recording on it will start to delete itself off the beginning of the memory card so as things go record you know it will keep the newest stuff and start to delete the oldest stuff out of it now the other thing that is really cool about it is there is a g sensor built into it so anytime you are hit you hit a huge bump uh accident kind of style thing it will automatically record and it will store it to a hard stored section so it will not delete itself after the loop comes back around to that point you know if you guys have it and it's still recording it won't delete that event yeah you actually have to take the SD card out or download it and you actually have to go in and you would have to manually delete that file yourself so that's something pretty cool so those files that are very important will still Day on that SD card. It does also have a built-in microphone in case you guys wanted to have recording of audio in that event also. Say for instance you wanted to be able to record what your vehicle is doing and what the driver is doing while you have your car into a mechanic that you may or may not trust too much. So that is an option. If you don't have the microphone on it does take up less space on the SD card because there is no sound file along with it. But that's just another option for you guys to be able to change and adjust on there. Now when we're looking at price point, the price point on this one is a little bit more, but that's just because this thing has a lot of features. The fact that it's 1080, uh, dual 1080, both cameras are both that, and all the extra features like GPS monitoring for having the speed on there. You know, all those extra bells and whistles do add up. Uh, so the normal price on this one is going to run $199.95. Rexing was cool enough to be able to get me a coupon code, which I will be putting down in the description below, so you guys need to check that one out. That'll be for 15% off this unit. So if you guys were looking for some kind of a dash cam kind of like this one, or one that's really high quality, I would definitely recommend this one, and you guys can get you some money back, you know, get you some scratch back off off of purchasing this uh, larger purchase. And like I said, links to this and everything else as well as the coupon code will be down in the description below. I've got a lot more things coming out here over the next couple of weeks. We've got some more Duramax content coming here for you. I want to go over a couple of things that I've had a lot of viewers asking questions about. I've got a couple more little accessories to be able to put onto. Plus, I've got some really cool stuff in the works for it. Uh, mostly have to do with this back seat area. Might be leaving. So kind of looking out for some parts on that one and we might be doing some audio build here on the truck as well. Something really cool to look forward to. Make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel. Make sure if you haven't already, hit that like button, subscribe, and make sure you turn on that bell notification to get notified when I come out with cool awesome content like this one. I appreciate you guys tuning in today. Thank you and as always, you guys stay awesome.